What's going on YouTube? Carl here once again. How you guys doing today? Uh, just got home a little while ago. Thought I'd make a video. Sorry, it's uh, it's been a couple of days since I made a video. Um, things just been kind of busy. So with me uh, uh, getting ready to start my new job and everything so I just put my uh, my two weeks in today at my other job so that's coming to a close pretty soon smoking some uh, Dunhill, Dunhill early morning pipe out of my new Missouri Meerschaum Ozark Mountain Hardwood pipe I'm very impressed with this pipe so far. I uh, started breaking it in on Saturday at the uh, at Aaron the Briar Boys virtual pipe meet on uh, Google Plus. So I had my first time doing that. Um, well, and I had a lot of fun. Uh, I uh, talked. Uh, we didn't have too many people show up. I hope uh, we're going to have some more people show up this week. But I uh, got to talk with Aaron. He's a real cool guy. Uh, we talked a little bit about, about some some things, you know. Talking about pipes and, you know, just kind of hanging out, you know. And also um, talked to uh, who else I had. My new friend, uh, Corey Kelly. Uh, Corey's wanted to say what's up to you. Thank you uh, for subscribing to my channel. Uh, yeah, you know, it was just a good time. So, I think probably for this video, I'm, uh, I want to do a review of this pipe. You know, I've had this pipe for a, for a few days. Well, it's pretty much been like my main pipe lately. I've been smoking, so I'm really, I'm really enjoying it quite a bit. I'm actually really, really surprised with with the quality and how well it smokes. So, uh, like I said, this is the new one. Of, well, I don't know how new they are. I don't think they're that new, but this is it's it's new to me. This is the uh, Missouri Meerschaum Ozark. Uh, Hardwood mountain pipe. It's a uh, the shape. It's kind of like of a of a corn cob. And uh, not exactly how big the bowl is. The bowl's not really too big. Chamber. I'm not exactly sure what the measurements all are on these. But see, it's got a pretty decent sized bowl. The chamber. It's pretty big. It has a wooden shank. Went through. Like, I think, I don't know what this stem is, if it's a acrylic or something else. Kind of tastes too much more, too much like plastic, though. But it's, uh, it's made of birch. With a, a straight pipe. Comes with a maple stain. They also have a bent one. Uh, that's, I believe, is also made of birch that comes with a a cherry stain on it. This, this is the maple. I like the look of this one better, so I went with this one. The shank goes through. It runs a little bit. You can see when you look inside the pipe. You can see the part of the uh, the end of the of the shank. Smoke time out of this. Um, it really depends, I think, on, uh, on what kind of tobacco you're smoking out of it, and uh, also how moist it is. Uh, usually for me, like, um, I can get it, depends, I can get usually a half an hour, maybe two, close to almost an hour maybe, smoke out of it. 
But, you know, I like to take my time. I like to, I'm a, I'm more of a sipper than I really am, more of a, like a puffer. And you can see, it actually smokes quite well. I uh, picked this up from uh, Aristokov.com. I believe uh, before shipping and handling it was four ninety seven, and then after shipping and handling it was eight sixty six. Well, it took a few days. Like, see, I ordered it on a Monday, and I got here on. I ordered it on Monday last week, and I got here on Friday. So it took a few days to get here. But, I, I, uh, this is another one of my pipes that I uh, smoke a lot of my Virginia and my English blends out of. Mainly that's what I'm into right now. I like... I like aromatics, but I just kind of got to be in the right mood for them. I do still smoke aromatics. I have my one uh, Capri pipe, my curved one, with the uh, rustication, rusticated look on it that I use for my aromatics. Easy. This pipe is real good quality. Um, only uh, thing that I'm not liking about it, that I don't like about it, is the fact the stem, at least for this one, I don't know of other ones, at least for me, the stem is kind of difficult to take off, and so I was, I had to be real careful with it, because I didn't want to, you know, obviously break my, you know, like brand new pipe I just got, so for me, I just leave the stem on. It does, uh, it does come with a, a, uh, Medico filter in it. But if you want, you can take that the filter out, of course, which is which is what I did. I took a, the filter out. I never smoked a bike with a filter in it, and so I mean, I, I didn't really want to try it anyways because I'm just kind of used to smoking pipes without a filter. Um, the pipe actually stays pretty cool as you smoke it. So actually, I've noticed it doesn't really get too warm. I mean, it could be different with aromatics, I don't know. Because aromatics usually do burn hotter than your uh, your English and your Virginia blends. They smoke much cooler. Um, only thing also... One, another con of this pipe is when you first start to break it in, uh, because they do uh, stain the inside of the pipe with that maple finish. So your your first couple smokes out of it, um, you'll kind of get a taste of like of the wood and that of kind of like of that stain. But after a few after a, a few bowls out of it, um, it's it completely disappears. I know. Uh, some people um, that I've seen uh, that I read on some reviews and comments also of this pipe said that what they did they just took their uh, sander and they sanded out the finish but you don't need to do that after your your first couple of bowls and you start to develop your cake more you actually don't even notice it and it actually smokes real well and also due to that um, tasting that finish you your first couple smokes, you won't really get the full flavor of your tobacco out of it through uh, your first your first couple of smokes. But once you do that, it's a real great pipe. I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm real surprised for uh, at the quality of this pipe and how well it smokes, especially for only being a five dollar pipe. So yeah, guys, I guess that's it for now. Go ahead and uh, comment, subscribe, uh, if you have any questions about this pipe or you want to know anything else. I pr think I pretty much covered everything. But uh, 
go ahead and comment, like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.